Okay, so I just got done walking Twinkie and I made some very, very thin pork chops. She thinks that she's getting some, but she's not. They're super tiny and thin. Just cooked it in the air fryer and I added some garlic salt and some pepper. As for my drink, which is literally my most favorite thing right now, Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze. This is my last one, so I'm gonna enjoy it. I also have the fruit punch one. This one, ugh, it's, it's okay. But this one by far is the best one I've ever had. Okay, so I feel better now. I'm currently um, standing in my kitchen eating Cool Whip with a butter knife out of the container. Uh -huh. You know? Anyways, I want to show you guys what I've been doing when I'm like, okay, I'm hungry, but I don't want like a full meal. But I do want, I need something, okay? I take some, oh, you guys can't even see me. <laughs> Let's move this like so hello hello so i take some lunch meat i take some string cheese oh wait we can't forget my most favorite drink in the whole world if you guys have never had this please get it for yourself the gatorade zero and glacier freeze there's nothing else like it so this is like my new favorite snack ever oh my god um it's just like straight to the point i ain't gotta think about it i literally take this guy and I wrap, you guys, I'm not joking either. I wrap some chicken lunch meat, which this is like the only chicken lunch meat I will ever eat, which is the Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Patisserie Seasoned, because I'm really weird about lunch meat. I wrap it. Mmm. So good. I really don't know what it is, but I'm fixated on it. And I'm fixated on this. When I tell you I'm addicted to thin pork chops in the air fryer, I'm not joking. And they're so thin and satisfying that I honestly don't even eat anything else with it. I'll just have the pork chop. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so good. So I'm about to make four of them. So I just lay them out like that. I use garlic salt which all my garlic salt is pretty much gone because this is actually a very embarrassing story. But one of the last nights that I got drunk, which I have not got drunk since I said I was gonna um, take a break, but I was like super drunk, super hungry. So I was like, I'm gonna make some garlic butter noodles. I'm also gonna use some black pepper. I guess I wasn't paying attention. And instead of opening this little tab, I screwed off the whole lid and I poured the whole thing on the pasta. So I literally had to throw away the whole thing. Like, it was just like a waste. It was really sad and pathetic, but that's what happened there. And then I put it in the air fryer. Plug her in. Like, this is so simple, it's scary. So I put it on 400, and it usually takes like 14 to 15 minutes. That's all I do. But I will say, once it's done, I let it sit for like 20 minutes. I know that sounds crazy. Then I eat it because I kind of like it at room temperature and not like freshly hot. Okay, so the pork chops have been done and sitting and now it's perfect. The pork chop dance. I just go through weird fixations and sometimes it's with food. You guys have seen that. Right now it's a pork chop moment. Yeah. Y'all, I'm literally just sitting in bed and I'm about to have some of these Cheeto mini cheddar things. Cheese flavored snacks. They're like in a Pringle can. I've never seen such a thing before. Um, I do want to like get on like a good track tomorrow. Like I'm going to weigh myself for the first time in a hot minute. I'm just opening it so you can hear all of that. Yeah, there's just like little balls. <laughs> Everyone's eating balls in bed, folks. Mm, so many balls all touch my mouth. Oh, not bad. Tastes exactly like you think it would. Cheese balls. But before I weigh myself tomorrow and like try to not eat junk and stuff, I wanted to eat some junk. And this sounded good to me. Do you think I can catch this in my mouth? Let's try. Oh, okay. So this is for the girlies who like ASMR. <laughs> it 
So dead ass, I'm done getting my fingers all like cheesy. So I just go like this. <laughs> Literally drinking balls right now. I'm drinking cheese balls. Like who does that? And then we just start adding some stuff. Yeah, like try that. <laughs> I don't know. Like I say, I eyeball everything. <laughs> That's how I am too when I cook. So. Are you? I feel like a Do lot you? of people are. You gotta have a lot of onions. It smells so good in here, you guys. Oh my god. I have a lot of onions though. And then add eggs, obviously. A little fire color. And then she added the pimentos. She said she adds that just for color. And then I've never made it with that. I just wanted to do it this time. Yeah. And then, I don't know, a little olive. Dang, that looks good. Does it? Should it need more red? No? Maybe a little bit. A little bit more pimentos. So then obviously she's gonna salt it, pepper it, and then it goes in the fridge overnight, and then you eat it cold. Okay, you guys, so I'm currently standing in my kitchen, eating my dinner. Mm. I'm having like a tofu curry moment. It's so good. And there's broccoli and obviously rice. I'm actually drinking tonight. This is my favorite. It's the Choco Chiller Buzz Ball. You're supposed to shake it before you have it. I figured let's have our first uh, little sip together. All right, so first drink. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. My second Buzz Ball, and I'm using a little Lego thingy. This is to help like if you put a Lego in the wrong spot. It's supposed to help with that, but honestly, I just use my teeth. Got some fried rice, shrimp, and beef and broccoli. So I'm finished eating. My fortune says, seek guidance where you can this week. Okay, Panda Express. Okay, so we got Starbucks, and um, I got a iced coffee with caramel and i'm afraid i'm not gonna like it my mom got this like peppermint moment well there's no peppermint on there she said do you not go to starbucks often she, she told the guy where's the peppermint <laughs> it's literally in it oh my god so we're gonna do a taste test or i am at least oh <gasps> wait it's actually good i was scared my mom was thinking i wasn't gonna like it it has caramel and i was like extra caramel please and thank you yeah i needed some coffee to pet my step a little bit are you gonna do a taste test for us <laughs> wish you guys could see her face so weird she's opening the straw she's taking the wrapper off the straw oh lord <laughs> i thought there'd be peppermint she's trying it <laughs> do you not like it it's icky <laughs> she said it's icky it's kind of icky. You want to try mine? Try that one. Okay. We're doing swapsies. It's kind of icky, Amber. It's a little dirty. <laughs> it's a little dirty. <laughs> Ew, yours just tastes like a bath of sugar. <laughs> That's all it tastes like. It tastes like a bath of sugar. You can't even tell it's coffee or anything. It's, it's just like this big old thing of sugar water. <laughs> sugar water? That's probably why I like it. So I'm making an Amy's TV dinner because that's just what I'm having. I'm having the pesto. And this was actually from Petaluma, California, which is my hometown. I just thought that was so crazy. If you guys want to know, that's where I'm from, the Bay Area. So this is probably going to gross everyone out, which I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I made some chicken salad. It's just pretty simple chicken salad but i will say it's delicious and i usually like to dip like crackers in there but i was like okay what's something i could do that would just be a little better for me but isn't like a celery stick or i mean you could do like carrots and stuff i've been loving cheese sticks lately so i was like why not do a cheese stick you guys it's honestly so good oh yeah that slaps 